Greetings from sunny Florida, everyone. If you're in Kansas City, Missouri, go ahead and wave to our camera. We have a student videotaping. Look at that. Watching live from Kansas City, Missouri, as we do the weather where it's 85 degrees and sunny here, and they're about to deal with sleet and snow. Not jealous of that at all. All right, let's uh, show you how we do things behind the scenes here on the WRUF Weather Center. Keith, you can go ahead and roll uh, the open, and we're going to do a live-to-tape broadcast of our forecast today. Feeling like spring and summer out there this afternoon, Gainesville. Temperatures in the mid-80s, but that's going to change tomorrow. Along with our spring-like warmth will come spring-like showers and thunderstorms. But none of that today. Check out the time lapse over the University of Florida. It was a gorgeous afternoon. Hardly a cloud in the sky as you see Ben Hill Griffin Stadium there in the foreground. And we obviously had Century Tower out there as well, shining brightly with all that sunshine. A high temperature of 85 here on campus. Look at the temperatures today. We were already close to 80 by lunchtime and we came very close to that record high set back in 1929 at the airport we only hit 84 but the record for this date is 85. Now near record warmth will turn into showers and thunderstorms as this cold air mass slams into it. Big storm developing up in the center part of the country where our friends are watching this afternoon from Kansas City. Big temperature drop there. They just told me it's cold and they have their coats on. Well, severe weather is going to be moving across the Tennessee and Ohio Valley on Thursday evening as that front moves across the Mississippi River. And then here in North Florida, Southern Georgia, we have a low chance for that on your Friday afternoon as the front continues to move in this direction. I think there will be early morning concerns for damaging wind up here near the Florida Georgia border in Gainesville. We're likely going to be protected by some clouds and some midday showers that will actually keep us a little more stable. But late in the day, we have to watch that sea breeze and how it interacts with the front over near the first coast in the late afternoon hours on your Thursday. Here's the big picture. Our friends that are waving to us now in Kansas City. Hey guys, wave, you're on TV. There you go. Yeah, you're getting the colder air now. Here comes the front. It will be on our doorstep uh, for your Friday afternoon. So let me zoom in and show you how that's going to pan out hour by hour with your future track. Here's 8 a.m. Showers and a few thunderstorms up in uh, the Tallahassee region. Those move in our direction by about 11 a.m. on your Friday morning. So your lunch hour Friday will be quite soggy here in Gainesville. Some stronger storms may fire when that sea breeze interacts with the front over here in uh, Putnam flag in Volusia counties, and then we should start to dry out by about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock on your Friday. So lunchtime, very wet, drive time starting to dry out, and by late evening on your Friday, skies will clear on out. Now that's just the first of three different chances for rain in my six-day forecast. Here's an uh, overview of it. The tomorrow's front gives us the good chance for rain and thunder between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. There's another weak system on Saturday with showers possible after 2 p.m. and more sun on Sunday, but more rain rain by Sunday evening. So what I'm saying is the pick day of the weekend is Sunday. Here's your six day forecast and we've got rain chances through about Monday. We finally start to dry out a bit Tuesday. Temperatures stay mild in the mid 70s.